had found for you, a most worthy suitor, one whom your heart already seems to desire most passionately. Dost thou speak of Giovanni? Yes. However, he has been mutated by Baglioni's lies. Therefore, we must reverse his knowledge and set him free from the anxieties of modern life. It is said of Rappuccini, and I who know him well can attest to this, that he cares more for science than he does for men. Patients only fascinate him as subjects of some new experiment. <laughs> he would sacrifice all of mankind, himself included, to add but a mustard seed to the great heap of his knowledge. But isn't that of a noble spirit? Are there any men so capable of such a spiritual love for science? God forbid. You have shown him the sacredness of your solitude. No doubt he has absorbed the silence of this garden, as well as the purity of your innocence. The man has offered up his own daughter as victim to his insane zeal for science. What then will be your fate, Giovanni? Beyond doubt, he has chosen you as new material for his latest experiment. Perhaps the fate will be death, or something far worse. Please, I can't bear this anymore. Rappuccini, and what he calls the interest of science, will hesitate at nothing. This has got to be a dream. Give him it. When his lips crush the sweet nectar of your sister's wine, he will become like you in nature. I only rid the world of your poisons. Now I shall strike the Hydra at its source. The only snake you'll find in this garden is your own wretched soul. Demonic! Thou hast filled my veins with poison. Thou hast made me as hateful, as ugly, as loathsome, a deadly creature as thyself. 